our practice, we are very much interested of creating these temporary spaces mm. that are only like maybe for a few hours or a few days accessible and then it, it disappears. And in a way, only what remains is the experience and the memory. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. So I really believe in this, this kind of like fusion between past and, and future that could really create new interactions and, and create new possibilities for, for people. Even now with the art of restoration and, and Leo Popolcini like uh, reusing the stage, but also Salotto Bueno reusing the space uh, um, of, uh, of Rotor and uh, Laura Provost uh, really uh, making something that, that, that makes you think about uh, environment, for example, in this old building. It, it all really works really well together. And uh, I think that uh, it's very uh, uh, beautiful to be part of that. Light also has like this uh, mythical thing where, for example, if you see like the paintings with all the angels coming down and you have all this light shining, so it always has like this holy grail kind of effect as well. So again, light has like all these different connections. It just creates this experience and it guides you, but it's done in a way that you don't even realize it. And I think that's when it's successful. When, when you don't realize it, it just works and it just becomes a part of your day-to-day -day life. The most important part for me as a light operator is to enhance the architecture and the structure that we have right here in the stage. As you can see, it looks a little bit like an old church, and I really like enhancing those uh, structures with uh, the lighting that we have, but also creating certain atmospheres for the people that are here and enjoying the party. So it all comes together, tying together the atmospheres, the music and the architecture. It's an occasion to realize what we call the generosity of public space in order to gather and function for multiple types of programs. So not only a dance floor, but talks, performance, uh, gatherings of different types of people. So the project, it's called Rotunda because it starts from the classical uh, idea of architectural rotunda. Is, is a building or a space that starts its own circulation from a circle and from an epicentrical way of moving.
these two massive red eye in front of me and they scare me. <laughs> Light is everything. Even when I, when I film a video, for me, I don't care which kind of camera I use. <laughs> you know, like my iPhone or... It's all about the light the more, or, or the darkness or whatever, but it's about how light touch darkness. And I think this big ray slash whale, she swallowed a lot of rubbish, but still going through the world, you know, and I mean, that whale has nothing to do with all the shit that happens in, in the ocean, so how do we uh, get a bit more conscious of it and how like now she's got boobs growing like the hormones that we throw with pills with you know like it's so layered and she's also a mammal so the connection with us and you know it's kind of all this connection but also just light connection not especially extremely deep but more like uh, making us uh, think and imagine and, and uh, yeah, dream. <laughs> I think the role of the light operator is really creating this synergy, feeling the, the vibe of the audience and the crowd and the DJ, and then translating that vibe to certain colors, motion, movement, and atmosphere to really like connect the people and really like being intuitive and being like spot on on the experience. The space itself is already almost like a set, you know, like uh, the routing, the, 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 the vari variation of buildings, the, the variation of the age of the building. So we kind of have a, a really beautiful fundamental sort of playground where it only can get better by like lighting it up. Rotating, orbiting at different speeds, different paces, different tempos. And so at moments you get some working together in unison and then at other moments you get these clashes. So it's, it's much like the loops that you find within ambient music and the way in which that uh, as a kind of piece is composed. So there's a real, I think, synergy between the kind of physical stuff that we're making here and hopefully the music which is going to be played.